Imagine a vehicle that can glide through water, traverse deserts, and protect soldiers in the heat of battle, all while delivering power and versatility beyond what anyone thought possible. This isn't just any military vehicle, it's the future of armored fighting. You're about to discover the impressive machine that's changing the battlefield, the vehicle that Brazil trusts to carry its soldiers safely into the most dangerous situations. By the end of this video, you'll know why this vehicle has revolutionized military technology and why its design is so extraordinary. So stay tuned as we explore every inch of the VBTPMR Guarani, from its sleek design to its unmatched capabilities. Don't miss out, because this could very well be the future of military defense as we know it. The VBTPMR Guarani is a military marvel, and not just because of its intimidating appearance or cutting-edge technology. This armored fighting vehicle was designed to meet the modern needs of the Brazilian army, replacing older models like the EE-9 Cascavel and EE-11 Urutu. In a world where warfare evolves constantly, armies need vehicles that can adapt, survive, and protect. The Guarani does just that, combining mobility, power, and protection in a way that few vehicles can match. One of the first things you'll notice about the Guarani is its size. At 23 feet long and weighing 16.7 tons, this beast of a machine is built to take on anything. But despite its bulk, the Guarani is surprisingly agile. Thanks to its wheeled 6x6 or 8x8 configurations, it can maneuver over rough terrain with ease, and its amphibious capabilities allow it to cross rivers without breaking a sweat. It's a perfect example of a vehicle that's both strong and flexible, ready to perform in any environment. Now, let's talk about what's under the hood. The Guarani is powered by an Iveco Cursor 9 diesel engine that produces a whopping 383 horsepower. This gives the vehicle a top speed of 70 miles per hour, which is impressive for something of its size. But speed isn't everything. With an operational range of 370 miles, the Guarani can travel long distances without needing to refuel, making it perfect for extended missions deep in enemy territory. The design of the Guarani is also something to admire. Its sleek sloped front provides better protection from enemy fire, while the flat sides and high clearance give it a tough, no-nonsense appearance. This isn't just for looks though. The armor is designed to protect the crew from small arms fire, artillery fragments, and even explosions. Every curve and angle of the vehicle has been carefully crafted to offer maximum protection. The vehicle is crewed by two people, a driver and a commander. But it can carry up to nine combat-ready soldiers in its passenger compartment. That's the real beauty of the Guarani, its ability to transport troops safely across hostile territory. The soldiers inside are well protected by the thick armor, and the vehicle's high clearance keeps them above the worst of the battlefield debris. One of the Guarani's most exciting features is its remote weapon station, RWS. This advanced system allows the vehicle to be armed with a 30mm MK44 Bushmaster II autocannon and a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. The weapons are controlled remotely, meaning the operator can stay safe inside the vehicle while engaging enemies at a distance. There's even a 12.7mm heavy machine gun, HMG, for anti-aircraft defense and engaging light-armored targets. It's not just a transport vehicle, it's a fully armed fighting machine. The turret used on the Guarani is another piece of impressive technology. It's an Israeli design system by Elbit Systems, but it's manufactured in Brazil under license. This collaboration means that Brazil is not just using imported technology but is involved in its production, giving the country greater control over its military assets. This also helps build local industry, providing jobs and expertise in advanced military manufacturing. In terms of protection, the Guarani goes beyond just heavy armor. It's equipped with smoke grenade launchers that can deploy a smoke screen, helping the vehicle and its crew to evade enemy detection. This added layer of defense is crucial in high-stakes combat situations where visibility can mean the difference between life and death. But the Guarani isn't just one vehicle. It's the foundation for a whole family of specialized vehicles designed to fulfill different roles on the battlefield. There's a command and control C2 variant equipped with advanced communication systems, an armored ambulance for evacuating the wounded, and a mortar carrier armed with a 120mm mortar for providing indirect fire support. These variations make the Guarani an incredibly versatile platform capable of handling multiple combat roles. There's even talk of a tank killer version of the Guarani, which would be armed with powerful anti-tank missiles. This would allow it to take on enemy armored vehicles, adding another layer of capability to the Brazilian army's forces. It's clear that the Guarani is more than just a troop carrier, 
It's a system that can adapt to almost any battlefield situation. The vehicle's amphibious capabilities deserve special mention. In Brazil, with its vast river systems and wetlands, being able to move through water is a huge advantage. The Guarani can enter the water, propel itself, and continue the mission without needing to stop or prepare. This ability makes it especially useful in regions where crossing rivers is a daily reality for soldiers. Since deliveries began in 2012, the Brazilian army has steadily built up its fleet of VBT PMRS. By 2030, they plan to have over 2,000 of these vehicles in service, making it one of the cornerstones of Brazil's modern military. And it's not just the army benefiting from this advanced technology. The Brazilian Marines are also expected to receive these vehicles, further extending their reach and capabilities. One of the things that make the VBT PMR project so exciting is its potential for export. The Lebanese army has already acquired some Guarani vehicles, and as word of their success spreads, it's likely that other nations will want to add them to their fleets. With its combination of firepower, protection, and mobility, the Guarani is an attractive option for countries looking to modernize their military forces. When comparing the VBT PMR to other armored vehicles on the market, it stands out because of its balance between cost, performance, and versatility. It's a wheeled vehicle, which tends to be cheaper and easier to maintain than tracked vehicles. Yet it doesn't sacrifice performance, offering all the speed and power that a modern army needs. This makes it an excellent choice for countries looking to upgrade their armored forces without breaking the bank. The Guarani's ability to be upgraded over time is another key factor in its success. As technology advances, the vehicle can be fitted with new systems, keeping it relevant for years to come. Whether it's upgrading the weapon systems, improving the armor, or adding new communication technology, the Guarani is built with the future in mind. The production of the VBT PMR is not just a win for the Brazilian military, it's also a win for Brazil's defense industry. By partnering with companies like Iveco and Elbit Systems, Brazil is developing its own capabilities in military manufacturing. This not only strengthens the country's defense but also creates jobs and boosts the economy. As more VBT PMRS enter service, they will play a crucial role in Brazil's ability to project power and protect its interests, both at home and abroad. Whether it's peacekeeping missions, border patrol, or full-scale combat, the Guarani will be at the forefront of Brazil's military operations. In conclusion, the VBT PMR Guarani is not just an armored vehicle, it's a game-changer for the Brazilian army. Its combination of speed, protection, and versatility makes it one of the most advanced armored vehicles in the world today. With its wide range of variants and upgrade potential, the Guarani is set to serve Brazil for decades, ensuring that its military remains ready for whatever challenges come its way. If you found this deep dive into the VBT PMR Guarani interesting, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content on military technology and defense innovations. Like this video if you enjoyed learning about the future of armored fighting vehicles and leave a comment below if you want to share your thoughts or ask any questions. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, we post regularly, so hit that notification bell to make sure you never miss out on our latest videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.